Okay, what I'm talking about today, and uh, I'm going to make another uh, YouTube carbon video, and I'm not sure if uh, if any of everybody knows what a friendship cane is. I have a I got a couple other videos where I showed some showed them, but I never uh, I haven't carved one yet uh, on video. So. Basically what we're doing, is, is, is what it is, is like a corner carving inside of this uh, little block. The block has a hole in it for to slide on a cane, a uh, dowel cane. And everybody in the club, uh, kind of Wago Carvers Club that I belong to, that wants to participate, can participate. And, uh, and so I think, I took two of them to, um, I'm going to carve something on one side and the other side. So you're going to have two carvings here on one block. And I like to uh, go around them. I just take a quarter inch and go around the whole block or a little less than a quarter inch is okay. And it kind of makes a little frame for for the carving. We put it to the carving and they they turn out looking something like this. I'm going to show you these a little better on uh, when I move the camera. Right now, I just want to uh, let you know what's going on here. So, if you never carved a friendship cane, you can carve anything on them you want, and uh, it's up to the individual carver. And I'm going to try to. I'm going to carve a, like a, a little. Floppy your dog on on one. I'm haven't really decided 100% what I want to carve on, but I uh, you can carve faces like this. A lot of people carve faces, and uh, there's another one where I just left the bottom, left the quarter inch on the bottom and carved the rest of it. And that's the redheaded rascal that was in the wood carving illustrated, and they're going to be smaller. Kind of like uh, these little fridge magnets that I make. Sometimes I'll carve, sit and carve a couple of these fridge magnets for uh, just for practice. And uh, but that's about. This is going to be smaller, but it's the same system. You're going to be carving on a corner. You're going to be carving that on a corner of here. And this area in here is your whole carving area. So. I'm going to show these a little bit more when I uh, better when I move the camera, but the, the basically corner carving. You make up your mind what you want to carve on them. Could be a dog, a cat, or owl. Last year I did an owl and uh, a doggy and uh, two two uh, small faces like this on each one on each side and. They stack them up, and by the time they're uh, everybody turns their carvings in, you know they slide one on a pole and one another one down the pole, and each one is done. And I guess it's about ten or twelve of these, and then there's a topper that goes on the top that somebody, uh, whatever, whoever's they pick to the turn or carve a topper, and uh, it gets to be about this tall. And it gets auctioned off at the, at the show in October, so you just take take chances on it, and uh, somebody's going to win ten or twelve of these blocks with uh, with excellent carvings on them on them done by uh, old members of Conwayo Carvers. So let me move the camera over here a little bit, and uh, and. We'll get to uh, get to doing some whittling here. Okay, so here's the close-up of the uh, carving block. Like I said, it's two by two by uh, three inches tall. Most of these are a little bit um, bigger than that, but you can do one. 
First thing I like to do is take this uh, can make a stop cut here kind of deep and both ways and take that sliver out there and make yourself a frame kind of cut out of a pretty neat little frame there go deeper and it'll come out clean like this one here should I'll go a little deeper on this and then you can take this out Take a chip out of the corner, and that'll come out. Just kind of clean around there. I'm going to clean this out on a. Also, you can use a. You could use this V tool. This is uh, like a. If you use a quarter inch. This is a quarter inch V. This is the next size. Um, this is a smaller size, and you go. You just go right around this. With the V tool, it's a lot faster than carving it with a knife. And uh, you'll have your frame here. Framed in there. And Take this sharp edge off of the center here. And for this little doggy, I'm going to make him kind of wearing a hat. So. We'll go up like that with this hat and give him like an eighth inch brim on it and make it a tilt a little bit. And just keep going with this with this uh, V tool. Go under the bottom of the hat. Take that all the way over to there. So that's uh, that's the bottom of the brim. Just carve it over to your to your frame. You can keep working on this frame so it fits the carving a little better. And uh, and I'll go over the top. Give him this little eighth inch brim here. So underneath he's just going to have a uh, some floppy ears here. These are kind of floppy ears, like this floppy ear dog here. And just take some out of the top there for the for the hat. And he's going to have some, his ears are just going to come out of his hat right here like this. Back down to the corner here. On both sides.
<laughs> okay, something like that. And his face is going to be in here. He's going to have a the top of his nose is going to be right here. And doggies have like a little nose, something like that. And under the nose. Is where his mouth is going to be. And we might move that up a little bit here. But that's just about basically where everything is going to go there. Get, get, make that nose stick out a little bit like that and uh, give him a place for his eyes. Like I say, this one here is bigger. I uh, don't really have a uh, ones I did last year to show you. And over here where the ears meet the hat, go up under the hat. We're going to do a little plunge cut there and take this corner out. There. And the same way with this side. Make those ears stick out a little bit. And his head to go up underneath of his hat and this side here too those ears are kind of kind of come out of the hat there then I'm going to have a little space over here for I usually like to put my uh, my initials in there to sign the carving so just go ahead around here with the ears. We want these ears to stick out further than anything. Then the face. So you could do this whole thing with a beetle if you uh, beetle on a knife. Any knife that works best for you. I'm going to do these corners here. I usually use a two inch blade knife like this right here and a, and a, uh, a detailed knife here. I think both of these came from Helvey but I got other uh, I got a Drake here that I use sometimes too and uh, they're all decent knives. You could carve this with any knife you got. Any pen knife or folding knife. Pocket knife if you keep it nice and sharp you can do it with a pocket knife. Just get those ears sticking out. Give them some depth there. Actually, all the way around the whole ear. You can start to see the face area right there. And I'm not going to get, have enough as much room as I have on this one, so I'm just going to do the, the eyes right up to right up to there, something like that, and you can use the smaller V tool to make it a 
make yourself a mound there for these eyes. And we can take this nose up there a little bit. This this carving uh, this shouldn't really take very long to do. Oh. I think we go better out on each side of this nose that will give you some room for eyes also. Let's make a little clean area here for Good eyes. Something like that. Clean that up a little bit. And the eyes say that's that is the eyes are just going to come right across the top of the nose and back down like that. Take that out with her veto. That's a flex cut uh, veto. It's um, I'm going to say three sixteenths. Something like that. And kind of just shape this nose up a little bit on this doggy. And so you, you can start to see it right now. There's his ears. I like to take the edge off of those ears. That's what I like. That's why I like a two inch blade, is because I can hold it back here and Hold my thumb on there and uh, carve it like that. Because you always want to have three. You want to be holding that. Uh, uh, you're carving with both hands. You want to keep your thumbs on it so you can uh, really guide that knife. It, it helps to guide the knife where uh, you want it. Oh yeah, it's a little hard to see with this uh, basswood on under the lights. All right, I'm gonna take this, clean that out a little bit, and let's see if you can. Start to see that. I'll squirt it with some water for you. Makes it a little bit more visible. But I got the hat here, the hat brim, and the top of his hat. We're going to carve on that a little bit more. And under here, under his nose, is where his mouth is going to be. All the way over to there, or all the way over to the edge of his and give him some teeth here down the center take this down in a little bit
So those can be shorter there. So I want to try to give him a. I want to try to have his like a tongue hanging out here. on each side so I can do this we're just making my short nose terrier or whatever <laughs> I'm not trying to carve any particular kind of dog here it's just the uh, just a dog <laughs> want him to be cute as I can make it and see that's a little bit better there. I could take this down there and this down here. Take a sliver out. Take a sliver out. There's a little plunge in there. Take that out. And we'll give him some teeth across here. We'll be painting them white. Something like that, and his tongue's going to be hanging out of his uh, side of his mouth right here. We need a little depth there. We need a little depth here. Flap cut. I'm just going to lower this down a little bit. This will be like the... Make the tongue stick out a little bit more. Over here next to the tongue. I want to take a little... Up here where is that it's going to go around there. I just like to make a little buff cut there. Round the head over a little bit. So, he's starting to look like a dog. And, uh, well, it took me like 20 minutes to uh, get it to this point. And uh, the rest of it, I'm going to be cleaning it up some. I'm just going to go over all these and just clean up all those cuts. Deepen them where you can to make it 
around the ears and uh, whatnot. So keep carving on that and now uh, I'm going to carve on this some off screen here and I mean off camera and uh, you should be able to carve that uh, if you follow me. I mean this is real time here. I'm not speeding any of this up or nothing. And so whatever idea you have I'd like to see it or if you haven't or know about it so just say something in the comments and uh, I'm going to try to go all the way and, and paint this too in this video and try to keep it a little short so I'm going to carve the rest of this off of uh, off the camera but you got the picture there that um, Put a little water on it. And so you got a hat, big big ears, and a little tongue hanging out, and his nose and his eyes are gonna be right there. So for the eyes, you can just come right back up over the nose here. See how these are kind of right up over the nose and uh, back down, and that's your eye area there, and you can just separate them and Make them any shape you want. You can put an eyelid on it if you want, and or not. So keep carving on it. I'll uh, I'll be back. Okay. All I did was just worn around and cleaned out all these corners, deepen them where you can. So it goes back underneath the hat there, and his ears. You can take a little out of that corner and just keep cleaning up any any little roughness that might be that I left in there and gave him a little bit of a depth in here where his top lip comes down this is all going to be tongue over here so I uh, just want to make it more visible when I paint it it's going to be more visible and actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna do some, some burning on this. That um, that really helps to bring out with a burning pen here. I use this, uh, this a razor tip burning system here, and uh, this pen tip is uh, just an in general pen tip, and. And go around this whole outside here and once you when you paint it see this darkness in here is serves as a that really helps you see the frame I'm gonna turn that up a little bit on nine and It's, it's a little when it's high you don't want to linger too long just kind of go along and just enough to get that color there you don't have to do this either but it, it also uh, separates when I paint it this helps me to separate um, the paint and so it doesn't really go so keep the paint from bleeding in other words I'm looking for the word there <laughs> and so go around it like that separate the ears also because these ears, I'm going to make them a different color than um, than, the, than the face. And that brings them out so you can see what you're going to paint. It's underneath the hat brim.
good place to uh, do a little burn, make a little burn line there. Also, any uh, loose chips that might still be in there, it's burning them right off and uh, helping to clean up the carving a little bit more. And here's his lip, his upper lip on both sides. And the bottom of his teeth. I'm not going to go in between his teeth, I'm just going to go on the bottom and you can probably separate this nose a little bit. Like that. The top of the brim of the hat. Then you're going to start seeing this uh, this carving after you do a little bit of burning on it. But like I say, you can you can do this all with paint when you paint it. So the hat's going to be a different color. This part here, um, I leave I leave that the same color as the, you know the best wood color and. So, so you see what I mean? You can see that a little bit better. I'm going to go along the top of his eyes. And this is just the eye area here. So we're just going to paint those eyes in there. I'm not going to be carving doing a lot of carving on them. So you can you can see that. And on the ears I would take this little um this little V tool here and just give him some little hair there. Like that. Don't take it all the way down, straight down. You gotta make it make it separate it a little bit. And once I do one here and do one there, I'd go in the middle and do a, do one like that. That way looks better that way. So put two there and one in the middle. Go on around, give him a little round motion there. And that gives him a little bit of hair there. Take the uh, burning pen again, and as you can see here, I just burned in some little whiskers, dog whiskers. Come right up from the center there and do the same thing with the separation thing. Don't put them all in a row. Something like that. Come right out of the center and then one on top, one on the bottom. And then when you paint them, paint over it, it'll come out and be more visible. You can you can hit these lightly here also, and that kind of helps them be more visible when you uh, do the painting. want to do these ears, you know, with the, the V-tool first. You don't want to just burn it in like that. And this is actually separating his tongue here. This is going to be his tongue right over there. And 
I made him a little bottom lip here for got a little piece of in there. Like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of round these eyes, this eye area out. I'm going to make a little flat area in here in the middle. And he's going to have he's going to have some eyebrows up here on each side. Point them out. I only mean, need a couple of them, it doesn't. Like that. So he's going to have some eyebrows there. And uh, from here on, it's it's like, it's just painting from there on. And I mean, and you can take, you can make this more decorative if you want this frame. And, uh, I'll just do that gently with the, uh, if you hang on here in just a second, I'll, uh, I'll get a, a wide gouge and I'll do a little decorative around the edge, outside edge frame. Okay, so I use this wide, um, that's probably three quarters or so, it's a, like a cut tool, and I'll just go here and maybe Make a little cut here going away, going up and away. On, on that side and uh, over here, going to go that way. You don't even, you don't have to do this. This is just really strictly matter of uh, Carver's choice if you want to say it that way do that down here we'll do the same thing and like that and that'll give it a little bit of uh, design around the outside so, there's a doggy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some paint, and we're going to paint it right now. So, hang on. Hang loose. So, I'll keep a variety of wet brushes here for uh, the painting part, and, and a spray bottle that I spray it with first, which I'm going to do right now. And just wet it down, and I'm using the acrylic paints, and I'll just blot it off. I don't want it soaking wet, but I, I do want it wet. And I, at first, I like to take and just use some of this raw sienna. This raw sienna uh, is a color that. You're going to use a lot in carving, and I just loosen it, make it, make it uh, water it down pretty good, and I just go over the whole darn carving with that, and that's kind of like a base coat that I, I like to put on everything to uh, make all the everything one color, so I can, uh, and then I paint over top of that it makes gives me makes me seems like it makes it more visible it gives me something to see that I uh, <clears throat> and I'll use my little a paint paint cup holder here keep some water in there so you can clean your brush out and just doesn't you can wash, wash it back off again most of it, but just uh, just get an even coat and uh, now you can see that 
a doggy in there a little bit better. And, and actually, I want to keep that as the base coat for his, I mean, the, the finish coat for his, uh, his fur on the inside. And I want to make these on the, these ears. I want to make them um, black, which I usually use. Uh, this black has been here forever in this tube, and uh, you know I don't use that much black. But I'm going to paint these ears black. Paint them with a bottom, like a bottom coat of black, and then I'm gonna, I'll dry brush over them with a, with an oyster or um, another off white, whatever other off white, like buttercream is a good one, and just get that covered with black. This tube black is, uh, like I say, that's been around here. I've experimented with every paint. So I've got a lot, i got this stuff left over here from experimenting. Been, so, but the black you'll use. Got the, if you go to these, uh, there's little jars from the craft store then you got a lot more variety in colors than these tubes. These tubes are, are basic, kind of basic colors. Huh? But you can use them to blend. You can use them, mix them, and make them any color you want. Just get a color wheel. Now I'm a pretty sloppy painter, so I'm hoping you all do better at painting than me. And uh, so there's his ears. And let's clean this, clean this brush out. And that's all for the that's all for the black. I'm gonna I'm just gonna <clears throat> just gonna leave that black and uh, and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take my air dryer and uh, use that on it as, because that black is still, I'm, I'm a mess with black. If I don't dry it right away, I get it on my fingers and I get it on places I don't want it to be and all that. So let me get my, uh, let me get my uh, air dryer. I unplugged it, so I gotta plug it in. Okay, here's, I forgot to do the nose. The nose is going to be black also. Get underneath of it too. And yeah, hit this. You dry that, I'm, you don't have to watch that. Okay, I'm going to go with this little blue, uh, it's called denim blue stamp coat for uh, his hat. So, I'm just going to hit it with some water here first, mix the, it wets it down a little bit and then makes it, the paint flow on it a little better. Get underneath the brim also. And 
I'm sure you all will be better at me than painting because I don't have to go too far to get better at me than painting. But it's something I hear every day. People say they hate painting and all that. But I think once you get used, get used to it and get a system, get your system down, it's going to be cool. I think one one coat on there is fine. This this was this denim was very thin already, but you need to m mix your uh, paint with water when you're painting. And what I, what I'm going to do here, I just painted it with right out of the cap there, but I uh, then I'm going to take some plain water and kind of spread it around a little bit. Even it out, even the color out, and you'll have uh, you'll have that. I'm gonna hit that with the dryer also here, so so bear with me. All right, that's all dried up, and uh, <clears throat> for this, for the eyes and the teeth, I'm using uh, off white. It's called it's oyster white. It's says not a real bright white like this, like this Blanco white. That's too white and it's too bright. So what I'll do is paint this whole area in here with uh, the oyster. And that's, that can be pretty, that can be straight out of the bottle. Because we we'll want that to be a background for your eyes. I'm going to paint the eyes in there. Oops, yeah. So that's going to be your eyes, and this is going to be the teeth. It's going to be white, off white. Get these teeth from the underneath also. This type of brush here is uh, it comes to a point and it uh, gets in gets in there a little bit better than a flatter brush. So you need a variety of brushes, and then you you get down to the really thin. You need a little skinny brush for the eyes and all. But there you go. So you're starting or you can see his, that's the background for his eyes and then we're gonna paint them in there black and uh, and put a put a little white dot on there for him and I'm gonna paint the tongue and the, and paint the inside of the mouth there. There's a little bit a section here that's gonna be the inside of the mouth. And then this is going to be a tongue, a different color. This is a <clears throat> coral, coral, like a coral reef. It's pink. And uh, that's probably all for the, all for the white. And I uh, clean the brushes out too. For, make sure you get all, everything out of them and re kind of reshape them. I get them reshaped before I put them back in my holder. Make sure all that stuff is out there and then that way when it dries it'll be the right shape if you just throw it in there and you you mess up the brush. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this with the dryer again, so be right back. All right, well, I went ahead and painted uh, the inside of his mouth with a, with a red color, watered down, and then uh, coral pink 
on his tongue hanging out there. And so yeah, I'm a sloppy painter and I got, I got paint up here where it doesn't belong. The blue from the hat went down into the... So I'll, I'll just go back and kind of trim that off. And I see the black is over here on the frame. A couple spots. So I'll just go back and clean them up and sometimes I'll just paint over them if but black's a little hard to paint over, but if you're painting a darker color and the lighter color bleeds, then you can just paint over it. So, now I'll go back in here and touch that up. Like that. I had my mistakes and I see another one right there where the white came up too far. And uh, just be gentle, gentle and just try to uh, get the paint part off of there. And Down here he's got a bottom lip that make the same color. Matter of fact, I'm going to go over all this for all sienna. Uh, wait. Let's go over the whole thing. So he's starting to look like a dog now and he just he needs some eyes. Now the eyes I do in <clears throat> you can do them in a black background like this, they stand out pretty good. Or you can use a a dark dark brown like this uh, woodland brown. And you got kind of a uh, just going to use this right out out of the cap also. And I'll start over. It's a little, a little tough for me to paint these eyes in here. So you can see it on the camera. So basically you just want them to be about the same size on each side. Something like that. So you got, he's got eyes. I'm gonna dry them up, and I'm gonna put a uh, put a reflection dot on them. Like this way right here is the reflection dot. The little white dot there makes the eyes stand out, so you can see it better. If you don't put that on there, then it does just doesn't. Uh, your eyes are kind of like, you can see the difference right there, you know. In fact, I think I'm going to put a, I mean, I'm going to dry this with the dryer and I don't know, I'll be right back. Okay, take this sharp edge off around the outside here of this frame and the, in, and the inside also. Just to make it a little neater and cleaner looking. And uh, I keep a variety of like toothpicks and these wooden skewers here for, uh, they, they got a point in them, you use them for the bamboo skewers you use in the kitchen for shish kebab. 
and I like to that's what I use to put the uh, the dot on the on his uh, eyes now I like to go both wherever I put it here I put it over here also so it's usually like at 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock on these eyes and whatever you side you use here you use over there too so I just put a dot there at 11 o'clock Out there at 11 o'clock, I'll try to make them even size and uh, see how you can actually see how that actually makes you look at the eye a little bit better and you can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to take this, um, I'm going to take this. Um, this here is a lemonade. Since this is I'm going to paint that outside frame a light color. So, uh, so it looks painted. And we're going to take it and uh, I can just use this. It's going to be. That way it'll be painted and you'll you can see the you can see the doggy in there a little bit better with this light color around the outside. Of course you don't have to do it, you can paint it a dark color if you want. Give it a little more finished instead of leaving it bare wood. You keep your th you keep your finger on there. It steadies the paintbrush a little bit too. Same as with the carving. You, it's good to have uh, the carving st stabilized. And this pointy brush will get in there a little bit better into some spots where you're trying to not to uh, paint the hat too. So it's getting there. It's getting there now. So you can see that it's a, it's a little doggy there. He's got a blue hat on and he's got big brown eyes and it's they're accented with that little little white dot. So let me wash these brushes out real quick. And He's kind of cool there, but um, I think I'm gonna dry him up and put a little, or do a little dry brush with a, with that oyster. So hang loose here. All right, I went over and I, uh, I went in all these little areas here where the paint wasn't exactly good, and and went over it with those colors that are there. And just touched up the whole thing to get it as clean as I can. As I don't have very much painting ability, but that's uh, 
it's a little bit cleaner there where the blue was into the yellow and all that you know I might still go back over it again a little bit but right now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to take this fan brush it's a little tiny fan brush here I guess it's about a half inch or a little bit better five eighths and uh, I dip it in the, the that off-white paint and kind of brush it all off you want to just have it on the tip of the brush and then I'm going to go over this black and kind of turn it a little gray just hit those high spots and don't load the brush up just kind of just kind of deal with the tip and it'll catch those high spots and give it a little more those ears a little more visibility and, and make them kind of grayish just tip the very tip of the brush in there and then it's best if you have a dark piece of paper or something to brush it off that way you know where you're at and Across these eyebrows too. So even there, I got too much on just rubbing it on that. <laughs> A little more than necessary, not really too much, too much. And you can kind of see how that. accentuate your cuts and I'm going to do the same thing on the hat just very light and it catches the top of your cut so it makes it look like a just kind of just kind of like floated on there it's like no you're not actually painting you're just kind of flick 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 like that yeah a little bit now you can see the eyebrows a little bit better and he's pretty much done I also went in with my burning tip I got a little a little teeny burning tip here for uh and I put my initials in there, DS. That way they identify as my uh, carving. But I did the carving. And everybody puts their name on the carving. And I'm, I'm going to write it underneath here anyway, Dennis Stallings. But um, I just like to put a little DS there. So I think you can get the picture here and then when I put uh, after I let this dry completely I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to spray it with some um, <coughs> spray uh, spray lacquer or something like that but I'm going to do it on I'm going to do it on this video so this hang loose there Little doggies is almost done. You can paint them any color you like. I just pick these colors. I like to have them. I like to have a light color around the outside and the darker. It makes that darker stand out. And I like to have different colors. I don't want them to be too similar colors you know I don't want to make that a brown hat and a burnt sienna skin or you know I want it to be a totally different color same with the tongue and the inside of the mouth so I'll be back and let's uh, we'll squirt this down with some top coat finish coat and cute little doggy is in one 
So I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here, but I'm going to go ahead and squirt this, squirt a finish on this, and then we'll be done with this video. Okay. I think this little doggy looks kind of cool. And uh, <clears throat> I haven't made up my mind. I got two more. I got three more to do. Actually, some people do one on there, one on each side. But I like this. It's a little bit bigger and and uh, I don't want to get too tiny. But let's let's shoot this with a little bit of uh, <clears throat> of a matte clear. Let me let me blow dry one more time. I like to make sure it's totally dry. It's got to be 100% dry before you spray this on. And uh, I like the depth better, but this is all I could find up at Home Depot. Is uh, this matte clear that they have, Rust-Oleum. rust has got another thing it just has matte and big letters written across here that's that's good product also i like it better than this but this is what i got so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick it on here shoot it i don't want to i just want to do little short spurts don't lay on that nozzle and uh Kind of gets up and down, and then that's going to dry, and that seals up all your painting, and, and this little doggy is is good. If you uh, well, you can look at it after this dries completely. Look at it if it's got any like dry looking areas and it didn't get or soaked in. You could. Uh, Hit it with another light coat, but usually one will do it, or and two at the most. So, have a good time carving this. I hope you liked it, and I, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to carve three more, but I don't know if I'm going to make them do it on video. If you all want to see me carve it on the video, I'll make another video. I'll write it in the comments or something, and. Uh, not going to be the same. None of them are going to be the same. It's always been my thing uh, since I started carving to try to carve everything, every one different, not a repetitive thing. But it's okay to do repetitive. As a matter of fact, you get better, really better at that one thing. But I don't know. I get kind of bored. But anyway. Have happy carving and uh, carve something every day. This didn't really take that long, as you can see, and uh, and you got a cool looking little carving you can give as a gift. You can make this a cat or any other animal that uh, you you fancy. I like the dogs, and uh, you can make it a like I say a person. You can carve the whole darn thing, make it a person. You don't have to put that. You don't have to put this, like, frame it in like that either. So, so anyway, I'm talking too much and, uh, watch something every day. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll be posting a video or two a month, uh, for sure. Thanks a bunch.